Hi there, everyone. My name is LaShawns, and here is my showbiz story. So um, I'm going to take you back a little bit to my audition for the original Broadway production of The Color Purple. Now, The Color Purple was my all-time favorite movie and my all-time favorite book. So imagine my glee when I was when I discovered that there was a musical being developed on this incredible story. So I went in for the audition. I remember working on it in the cab while I, on my way to the audition and uh, making sure I had all my lines down. Walked in, walked in the room and there were all the casting people there and it was so nice to meet the director and the writer and everyone. It was a pretty good audition. Went back for my second audition and found out at my third audition that I had booked the role. So now it's time to do the reading. And I was like, okay, this is great. We're gonna get together with the cast the first time and do the reading. And um, I'm usually not nervous at all when it comes to like doing readings and different things like that. So I was pretty prepared to uh, come in and meet all my fabulous castmates and sit down and work on the story. And um, it was very different at that time. There were uh, certain cast members that did the reading, didn't end up doing the production, which is very common in our business. We can have someone that will, it be one cast will do the reading, another cast will do the workshop, and then a final cast will do the production. I made it through all three steps, but um, it, was, it, was a, it was really an amazing experience. So I am at the second reading of it and um, I'm ready I'm sitting at the table meeting greeting talking to everyone getting ready for everyone to set up and in walks Alice Walker now there are very few people in the world that make me nervous I like to think that uh, famous political figures would make me nervous Nelson Mandela I'm sure would have made me nervous um, Oprah Winfrey didn't even make me nervous meeting her but there are people that in, in my profession, even though we're all peers in this industry, that still would bring out the giddy girl in me. Alice Walker is one of those people. Now, let me tell you, she is very stoic. She doesn't really say much. She has a twinkle in her eye that makes me think she's a, from some magical species in the world because she's just this regal. There's like a light, a halo around her when she walks into the room but she definitely made me nervous. She takes her chair and sits it directly in front of me. Mm -hmm. So now I'm about to do the first time that she's hearing the musical adaptation of The Color Purple. I'm playing the main character, Celie, and the original author is sitting probably four feet in front of me. I did everything I could do to knuckle down, <laughs> bear down, and focus on the words, focus on the text, focus on my, my fellow actors, and uh, focus on the music. Um, and I must have, I feel like I might have blacked out the whole two and a half hours of working on it because I don't remember that experience very well. I do remember at the very end of it though, I remember we all stood up to take our, our group bow and I realized that my face was wet. So I must have been crying. Um, I'm sure probably from the relief of having gotten that far. And then we all sat down and people were moving around, talking, whatever. So I'm sitting in my, my area, area, folding up my script, putting my things together. Alice Walker stands up. She has not said anything to this point. She stands up, she walks the four feet to me takes a ring off of her finger, a beautiful amethyst stone, T grabs my hand, puts it on my finger, holds my face, and then turns around and sits down. She did not say one thing to me, but that gesture to this day stays with me as the ultimate validation. <laughs> Nothing else in my career has validated my talent and my skills as much as that moment that I shared with Alice Walker. And I still have that beautiful amethyst purple lavender ring that she gave me for playing the character Celie 
in the musical adaptation of The Color Purple. That's one of my Broadway stories. Hope you liked it. And the American Theatre Wing's Tony Award goes to... LaShawn's The Color Purple! Shawns earns her first Tony Award for her touching portrayal of Seeley in the music The Color Purple. Okay, what, what, what was I thinking about? All right, I wanted to say, first, <laughs> I didn't rehearse the speech clearly. I wanted to say first to the brilliant Alice Walker for the courage, thank you, for allowing these characters to come through you and grace us all with this human, powerful story that I get to experience every single night. I want to thank my cast, from the youngest Chauncey to the wisest Lou, for who, whose shoulders I stand on every night. And the reason I can stand here and accept this because there's no way I can do this by myself. I love you, you're brilliant. To the creators of The Color Purple, the, the, uh, the choreographer, our brilliant choreographer, our brilliant composers that took the challenge to come here and tackle Broadway. It's not easy, but you came. <laughs> and to everyone else, my loving family for their support. I love you, I thank you. I wanna thank my mother for giving up her space here tonight to stay home and watch my daughters. Thank you, mommy. I wanna thank my daughters who don't quite grasp the idea of what a nomination is. This is what I got now, a trophy. Thank you. And I lastly, lastly, but but definitely very important, I want to thank Oprah Winfrey for bringing this story not only to the country, but to the world. Thank you, Oprah. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Good night. Yeah! <laughs>